All right, so first of all, happy first day of April. And today, I'm very excited to unbox the OtterBox Symmetry Plus clear case for iPhone 14 Plus. So in the past, I'm a fan of their OtterBox Symmetry Plus for iPhone 14 Pro. So this is their blue or beautiful. So the things that I like about it is that even though the case is actually thick, the way they, they do the corners or the sides is instead of making like rounded corners, it's actually a sharp one, like a flat, a straight slanting edge. So it does not appear too thick. And at the back, another thing that I like is that um, the camera rings on the side is like blue and then black on the corner. So, but this is for blue or beautiful Symmetry Plus. So this one is their clear case. The MagSafe is not so, but we're gonna check it now. Let's open the box for the first time. So another thing I like about other boxes is that their box is like made of or uh, just cardboard, no plastic at all. So very, very uh, economical and earth friendly. There we go. Okay, so this is their clear case. And I would say that looking at it, it's like very glossy looking. And it's not matte at all. So we're gonna try it now. And we have our iPhone 14 Plus in purple. So I'm, I'm using now the pop socket case for more than two weeks now. This is my go-to case for 14 Plus because this is way too thin. And the purple is like not really distracting. And even though that after using this for how many weeks now, I got some scratches, which is I really have no problem at all. And some a little bit of discoloration. But I feel I believe that that's the purpose of the case. So let's just be ready with it. So let's go first to buttons. And then press the sides. And let's not make sure that all corners are inserted properly. Now, same thing, we have a good amount of table lip protection. And same, the corners are like um, slanted, not rounded, like other cases, but slanted, which I like with the other box. Let's check the top. So there's nothing on top. It shows the color of your phone. So if you choose iPhone 14 plus yellow, it will show yellow. If you go for the blue, it will show blue. And on the side, we have a small branding of other box here. So not really distracting. We have our buttons, lock and lock buttons. Let's try it. Very soft and very easy to press. Same with volume up and volume down. So very clicky, very nice. At the top, we have precise cutout for the speakers. So small opening for this side because we have small speaker grills here. And then we have bigger cutouts here for um, speakers on this side opening for our lightning port and um, you will see our sim inject eject um, tool here and volume up and volume down we have a good opening for our mute toggle switch and at the back now we have this um, MagSafe ring indication because this is MagSafe compatible let's also check about the camera let's see if we have a good amount of camera protection which we have uh, considering this is otter box now i noticed that this one is grayish not white not not clear white like i believe apple clear case but this is like grayish color if you can see that and of course it shows the color of iphone 14 plus i i, I would say that the purple iphone 14 plus is one of my favorite at first i thought i would not like it but but it turned out that the purple is not really distracting. The color is really, really nice. And it shows now. But if you are like, you like plain black, I think that's also nice. And as you can see, I think I did not clean it properly. Some dirts already uh, managed to go inside. So we just need to wipe it. Um, that's another thing about clear cases that sometimes clear case don't stay clear because some dirt that starts to go up uh build up inside so but if you are patient you can just clean it and then still use it now we're gonna try it with some magsafe accessories 
So at first we have here Apple MagSafe wireless charger and this is MagSafe compatible and it works and it's charging. Now um, this one is not heavy. This is um, the MagSafe charger in Kishology Nano Mount, Nano Mount and this is made of rubber and plastic so not so heavy but as you can see the MagSafe is usable. And another MagSafe accessories that I'm using most of the time is um, the Rhino Shield Grip Max. So I, I found it like very, very useful and very helpful um, when I'm using it with the 14 plus with case. And we can use it to attach here. And let's see if it's like have a good magnet strength. So not bad. Uh, I would like to try to give it like a shake. Up. So not so strong, but... As long as for me, I can hold the case nicely, it's not so fl super flimsy. And as long as it's workable, I, I would be happy with that MagSafe strength, but not the most strength if you are looking for the strongest MagSafe strength. Now, another accessories that we can try is this is the Pop Socket MagSafe wallet. This one have a very strong MagSafe. And even though the case is not so strong, as long as your accessories have a very strong MagSafe, this one is excellent. So we can try it and let's do the same thing. So as you can see, it's better. Oops, it's fall down, but much, much um, stronger connection. It's like how many times I did the shake test. I did quicker and faster. Um, it still hold up better than the Rhino Shield Grip Max. But I believe that as long as the MagSafe is working and not super flimsy, I think that would be a good thing to know. Now... How does it feel in your hands? For me, it always depends. Like for me right now, I feel like it's really, really grippy. But there are times that my hands are really oily and it turned out to be slippery depending on this. But right now, I would say very grippy. Maybe my hands is a little bit um, oily right now, but it turned out to be grippy. And um, compared to the pop socket, pop wallet, I feel like it's not adding too much bulk. So... That's another good thing. This is also rated as um, three times military drop protection. So um, it will protect your phone very nice. Alright, so some of you may ask how does it is when it's lying down on the table. So we can also give it a try. So you can like have some texting and they can try on top. It wobbled on the camera part. Uh, not so much on the other side, but it is wobbling. Not on the bottom, but mostly on the camera part, especially that's where the where's the the camera lip is. Now for the price of sixty nine dollars, this is really a good case. I saw a lot of people using clear case on the street, but for me, I'm not really a fan of clear case. But as you can see, at the first day, we have some dust or dirt, uh, but that's build up inside. But that is how the nature of the clear case is. But if you don't like that one, the opposite one is like the other box also offer it in a variety of color. Like this one, this is their blue or beautiful for iPhone 14 Pro. But I believe you can get one as well for the 14 Plus if you're, if the 14 Plus is your go-to phone. And the sides and the fit, I did not touch it, but I just checked that the fit was really good. There's no like small opening here. It's not flimsy at all. So the fit is really, really good. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching. This is our first look at OtterBox clear case for iPhone 14 Plus. Uh, please sub subscribe if you're not and please give it a like if you enjoyed the video and see you on the next one. Peace!